So we have a jar here, and what we want to do is we want to create a screw lid on the inside that is completely the exact same as the jar body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the jar body into the assembly. So if we come up here to this arrow that's beside SolidWorks, go to the arrow, go to Insert, and down here, Part. So that's Insert Part. Now I'm going to find the jar, and it's in Server, Port Your Work, DCG, Practice, and it's the jar body. So I'm just going to click in here. I'm going to click absolutely anywhere to leave it. So at the moment we have two parts in the part at the moment. Now the next thing you want, you can see I've put move copy bodies up here in my toolbar just to show you how to do that. If I click here and I go customize, I click on the third one here which is commands and I'm going to go into features. This is move copy bodies. If you click that and drag it up here, it'll bring it up there. You will be using this several times so it's a good idea to bring it up there. So what I need to do is I need to move the two of these to make a relationship between them. I'm going to click move copy bodies. Now the first thing it's asking me is bodies to move. Okay, so I'm going to select this body to move. Now the settings that I want is as follows. I don't have a cylinder here, but what I do have is a circle. So I'm going to select the circle and I'm going to select another circle here. Now what the computer automatically does is it makes them concentric. As we know, concentric is the same center point. So I'm going to say yes to that. And here I'm going to rename that F2 concentric. So concentric move body. So now I know which one it is. If I press section here just to show you, my lid is now down here at the bottom. That's no good to me at all. So I'm going to have to move the jar. So I'm going to go to move copy bodies again. Click this fella. Now this time I don't want to mate. I'm going to scroll this down. And I have here translate rotate so I'm just going to click that now I have here translate translate on the X Y and Z so as we know X is going to be horizontal plane Y is going to be the vertical plane and Z is going to be the horizontal plane or we have rotate also now we're going to go with translate and I'm going to translate it vertically and first of all as you can see nothing's happening I need to select a body to move so I'm going to select the jar and I'm going to move it on the vertical plane sorry on the vertical plane down low just moving it so I can see it and say yes to that and I'm going to rename that vertical move it doesn't matter what we call these things just so we can identify which is which now the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make a relationship where these are touching so I'm going to go move copy bodies again and I'm going to move this body now I don't want to vertical I'm going to go back to constraints which is my mate so I'm going to select this flat surface and this flat surface and automatically the computer has put them together like so and I'm going to say yes and I'm going to call this a horizontal mate so that's three different move body mates now that I've met and if I just go to section you can see that my lid and my jar are there that's lovely however I'm not 100% happy yet because I want to create I want to separate them so I'm going to go up here to Features, and I'm going to go into Intersect. So I'm going to click Intersect, and I'm going to select my two bodies to intersect, and press Intersect. Now, this gives me five different regions. The amount of regions you get will depend on the shapes that you're intersecting. So if I click down here at the top, the very first one, that's the body. Yeah, I want to get rid of that. I'm just going to zoom in. Number two is the lid. I want to keep the lid, so I'm going to unclick this. The next one, as you can see, that's the inside bit. I want to get rid of that. That's the inside of the jar, I'm going to get rid of that. And another piece the inside of the jar, and I'm going to say yes. Now, following that, okay, that's my intersect. If I come in here, you'll see that I now have a screw thread on the inside. So what has happened is it has intersected and it has left me with what I want. So I'm just going to rename this page intersect of jar, body, and lid. Lovely. Now, the next thing is I want, I do not want this, so I'm going to right click on it, look normal to it, sketch, and I'm going to sketch a circle, the same distance, obviously, smart to mention, and I'm going to go features, extrude cut, and see here where it says blind, instead of saying blind, I'm going to click up to surface, and I'm going to select this surface in here, and say yes. And as you can see, that has cut away the inside part of my lid, like so. Now to tidy, I'm just going to rename that. I'm 
All right, now to tidy up finally, which this is always the final thing you do, we're going to put a couple of fillets on everything. So we'll click here. Now, as you can see, 10 is too big. So if I start off small with a 1. Now, as you can see, 1 works, and that gives me a fillet. I might increase that 1 to 3. And 3 still works. I'm going to put a few fillets around the place. That tree works up here as well. I'm just going to say yes to that. And it just makes it look a little bit smoother. And I'm going to click on this and just say uh, lid fillet. Lovely. So that is how we get our intersection of two bodies.